Hey, so I'll be showing you guys how to install Arch Linux the easy way. So this is already a pretty, this is pretty good here. So I'm doing this inside of a virtual machine because I don't feel like wasting a hard drive, but already here. So we're gonna select with BIOS right there. We're gonna install it pretty much the easy way. So there's this tool called Arch Install and it's useful if you just wanna give Arch a try without all the extra needs. If you are using Wi-Fi, however, you may want to enable the driver or something. You're going to want to do that, obviously. If That's if you're using a laptop, of course. <sighs> Forget about that. Alrighty, so it's called Arch Install. Alrighty, and right there you can see testing connectivity, Arch Linux mirrors, and right there you go. It's built into all new uh, versions of Arch Linux. So we're gonna skip down to the bottom. We're located in the United States. So that's hard drive, it's definitely gonna want the 32 gig disk layout. Let's wipe all, X4. Uh, we don't want any encryption password, we want grub install, use swap. This is a virtual machine that can slow it down. Yeah. Alright, specify hostname, set root password, etc. to I'm not telling you what it's set to. Uh, let's keep it. We're gonna, it's going to ask you to verify it. Alrighty, user account. Let's call her user. And then we're going to click enter on the user. And we can do promote. Let's promote it so that we can run commands like sudo, confirm, select profile, desktop, uh, let's do xfce4. All open source, since this is a virtual machine. Pulse audio, that'll make it a little bit easier on the kernel. Additional packages installed, let's do flat pack. That saves us some time. Firefox. NeoFetch. Htop. Alrighty, it's going to verify them. Right there you go, you got them. Confirm time zone. We don't really want to. Do, we don't need it that much. All right, let's configure our network. Uh, copy ISO information. Uh, time zone UTC, NTP. Yep. Additional repositories, multi lib. There's some good things in there. And let's and let's go over this here real quick. So obviously our language, uh, U.S. So keyword layout is United States. Mirror regions United States. Hard drives right there. Disk layout. Encryption non yeah. And then just go over this. Make sure you have everything that you want. Um, let's hit install. It's going to ask you to click enter, and it, now it's going to download. So I'm going to cut my mic right now.
Alrighty, so you can see right here that uh, it says installation finished, no error reported. Right now it should update the system, so it saves us a little time when we boot into the system. So now it's going to be installing our packages for us. And this shouldn't take too long. So now it's installing the packages that we selected. All right, we're doing another update right there. Looks like we're installing graphic drivers. Now it looks like we're installing our display environment, which is XFCE.
already right here it's asking us if we want to see root into the system uh, nope don't want to and now it's going to ask us to reboot so just type in reboot alrighty alright so capture right there but, uh, if you're using a uh, on a physical computer you don't really have to do what I just did now we're booting into Arch Linux alrighty this might take a little while since it's our first boot And right here we are. We've got a working operating system right here. So let's enter in our password. And right here you can see the operating system. It's fully function. It should be fully functional, hopefully. Well, we haven't gotten to that point yet where we can test it. Alrighty. It does look to be functioning. Let's run. Yep, it's functioning. So right there you can kind of see how lightweight this really is. So here you have it, Arch Linux system, very easy to install. Again, Linux is very fully customizable. I can remove that and I can do much more. I can create a launcher, like let's create a Firefox launcher. Personally, this is easier than creating shortcuts on Windows. Alrighty. Great, and boom, it's a Firefox launcher. And wait for it. Again, it's first first time boot, so it is going to be a little slow. Might be able to hear the hard drive clicking away. All right, can you just load? OK, there we go. I gave this computer some horrible specs. I wish I gave it more CPU cores. But right here, you can see that uh, it's functioning. Uh, Firefox is a little slow because, again, we had some bad specs. Four gigs of RAM and two CPU cores isn't going to get you by these days. It might get you by on Linux, but not really doing anything else. But yeah, here it is. We can search the web. Say, what should we? What should I say? I'm going to say hi. Right here. We got high. I'm not gonna go down there because there's probably copyright and stuff. Alrighty, so right there we have a fully functional Arch Linux virtual machine. Maybe I'll show you in another episode if you want me to. My customization for this and pretty much how I customized it. So, see ya.